Hey everybody, what's going on? Devin Gage here from Gage Strength Training. I wanted to do another quick video about how we should view this, uh, the scale as a tool for tracking our progress. So the scale is exactly you know, what I said, it is a tool, okay? It is a tool that measures exactly how much weight that you carry, how many pounds that you carry on your body. Um, what it is not is a great track of your progress or performance. Okay? A lot of people get this weird idea that if they hit a certain number on the scale, they'll have these new abilities. You know, if they hit you know, 115 pounds on the scale, they'll be a better runner, they'll be a better athlete. But it's oftentimes not the case just because they're not taking into account the muscle mass. They're not taking into account so many other factors other than body fat. You know, what you really want to keep track of is the body fat and your performance. You know, this isn't, this isn't a video game where if you reach a certain level or if you reach a certain number on the scale that you're going to have these new capabilities. Your capabilities are coming from developing the muscle and developing the actual training for it and the actual performance. So the best way to track performance is to track how you are performing. Not watching a number on a scale, especially when you're an athlete which doesn't have all that much fat to lose. So what is, what is that number on the scale really doing for you? So I want you to think about that. If you're an athlete, if you're you know, somebody who really values that number on the scale, what exactly is that gonna do for you? Let's say you have a goal of losing five pounds. Like, what exactly is that going to do for your performance? You know, if you're a runner, if you're you know, a baseball player, whatever, what is the number on the scale going to do to improve your performance, okay? Because a lot of times, losing that number, you're also losing muscle mass. You're also losing that performance edge that you've worked so hard to gain because it's very difficult to drop five pounds of just pure body fat when you're at a low body fat already. So that's what I want to ask you guys. What is that number on the scale really doing for you? And really try to emphasize that the best way to track your progress is to watch yourself progress and train for your goal instead of training for an ideal number on the scale. All right? I hope that helps. And uh, drop a comment. Let me know what you think.